doing today. Pull up my stream real quick. Hopefully everyone is having a good day right now. I'd, I'd, I'd like to think so. I'm having a I'm having a good one. God, been a while since I streamed. You know, took a small break, but we're back at it. <clears throat> one second. Pull up my chat. How's it going, Brad? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Ottoman Empire? Burke Yeeter, how are you doing today? How you doing? How you doing? What's up, Locket? Guy Sar, how we doing? How we doing? Why dart? Why not? Why not dart? Got a problem with the dart monkey? One second. Let me um, check something out real quick. All right, we're good. Is this a photo? What do you mean, is this a photo? Do you remember me? I changed my profile and profile name. I think I do. That'd be stream timing. Dart's cool, just curious. Just felt like going dart some today. But that, that's if I lose. If I lose a game, I gotta go dart the next match. Hello, pressure man. Hello, hello. Do the same but village next stream. Village is just like awful on some maps. So dart, you know, you can use a lot and it's still good. I don't know if I'd say the same about village. Village is like one of the worst towers in the game, probably. Yo, what's up, Johan Twitch? How you doing today? <laughs> Dart is not garage, AK. Dart's pretty good. Dart's pretty good. Go bomb some farm here. What happened to your UI? What do you mean? Yo, what's up, Johan Twitch? What, what do you mean, what happened to my UI? Not the game. The game isn't covering full screen. Well, yeah, I, I switch it when I get in the game. I think top path load should buff all towers instead of just primary. That'd be interesting. Interesting buff. That would be an interesting buff to it. But if it gave the same primary buffs to all towers, if you change that, I think it'd be pretty overpowered. It'd maybe give less buffs. Let's go with a door there. I don't know where to place my door, but we'll place it there. It'll be a fine spot. Copy a player's playstyle and play for an, a stream. Like angry, copy play, angry worms. Well, if I copied a lot of, I mean, there's couples of people where that'd be interesting, but a lot of people would just be doing what I do a lot, like just going meta. Or whatever. There's only a couple people who are a little bit different. What does the title mean? If I lose a game, I gotta go dart the next match. Eat boy. pinks let's get my oh I'm literally I was five dollars off that's annoying come on also there's a bit of lag in the game going on my opponents lagging it up what about dark mortar village with highwayman yeah that's not that wouldn't be a very good loadout that would not be a very good loadout Oh, this lag is actually quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie. What, why? There's just not very much damage late game. You don't have any damage buffs for your 
village. Your, your mortar doesn't do that well late game either because you don't have Striker Jones paired with it. It's just not super strong. It's an eco strategy that's not super good late. Dark Mortar, Village, Child Man. Um, are we surviving? Do I go for another farm here? Let's get a second submarine down. Dude, this lag is actually really frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. At least we're doing fine. But whenever I place something... It's... Okay, we'll just boost this. Gotta make sure I boost like three seconds before I actually need to boost next time. Because everything's delayed heavily. Have you ever played EAFC? What's EAFC? I don't think I have. I don't like your Fedora spot. It's not that bad. It'd be bad if I was facing Fate Weaver Dora. The only re the main reason I've leaked a million lives is because everything's lagged. My targeting is lagged. My placements are my boosts are lagged. My abilities are lagged. You're facing someone whose connections like this, it, you're just gonna have a lot more struggles early game. Elves up a farm spot, I guess, but they're going ninja out because I wasn't planning on taking it late. Okay. Nope, I'm dead. I... You love the lag, bro. You actually love it. That's... Great way to start off the stream, I'll be honest. Please, I hope I never play, that, play against that player again. That is just absurd. That's just absurd. But I do have to go Dart Monkey for this next match. So we will go Dart. We'll bring Dart Monkey. That's the most annoying thing to do. Play against someone who's laggy and then die because you can't build up defense in time from the lag. Rather than dart, it should have been ace. Nah, I I, I don't really enjoy playing ace though. Rather go dart. You should have pre-bought. I mean, it's just a. I mean, I guess I should have pre-bought defense, but I'd rather play the game optimally than play it safe. And it's just annoying if playing it optimally. Gets countered by your opponent having bad Wi-Fi. That's just how it is sometimes, though, I guess. I have not played Helldivers before. I have some friends who've played the game, though. They say they enjoy it. If they lag, I do no greed, yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the smart way to do it, but I don't really have fun just pre-buying a bunch of defense. I'd rather just play play on the knife edge and play like I normally play. Because you don't really improve by over-defending everything. You improve by reacting correctly to rushes. You know?
All right, Broco. Off tide's actually a good map for Dart, so I'm happy we got off tide. Run DFA for the nostalgia, please. One sec. All right, we'll dart more farm. I can beat you with my eyes closed. Full fully powered, arrows primed. Ryan, why don't you ever skip map? I just skip map sometimes. I didn't want to skip um off tide though, because off tide's a good dart map, and we have to go off tide since we lost our previous match. And we have to go dart because we lost our previous match. I mean, I mean. All right, start with razor sharp shots here. They're going tack with uh, Quincy, so it's probably tack mortar farm or tack wizard farm for my opponent. I'd imagine. I want to note that sabotage soaks through balloons and mobs are slow down. No, it does not soak through balloons, Valley. Sabotage does not soak through balloons. Only Grand Sabo soaks through balloons. That's what they changed in the update. They made it so Grand Sabo soaks. Normal Sabo does not soak. So the normal sabotage is exactly the same. I have one million dollars. Congratulations, Rudy. Teach me how to defend round 11 all out fortified mobs. Bro, someone's sending you all out fortified mobs in round 11. You have bigger problems at hand. That is a very scary rush though. The all out fortified mob round 11 rush. Where do you put crossbow on this map? Is it here or is it here? I think it's, I think people put it here. This is where I've seen people put crossbow. Yeah, I mean, DVS does not defend in the 30s well at all anymore, Krunker. You'll die to a... You'll just die to a big rush, so that doesn't surprise me. DVS is kind of bad late game now. Have you already lost once? Yeah, I lost the previous match because my opponent was lag lagged me. And I couldn't um get up my defense in time. You can rewind the stream to see. You. I'm curious. How do I kill infinite money hacker round one? Um, I don't know. Maybe you lag them out so then they can't place defense. Probably the best chance you have. I won the best time because if you could beat the equal world record, you have millions because I've made good UK. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. We'll just keep farming here. Round eight. We'll go for another farm. Uh, place it right there. Send me yellows. Let's go for razor sharp shots. Was on first. I think that's good. Dart sniper farm. All right, I got you, Calvin. Thank you so much for the donation. Yo, W's in the chat from my man Calvin Venkatesh, bro. W's in the chat. Thank you, Calvin. Appreciate it. That's the homie right there, bro. Calvin Venkatesh is the homie. Got a mortar down right here. Faster reload. Rapid that reload. Americans are so rich. Not all of them. What about Dart Sniper Ninja? Dart Sniper Ninja is a pretty good strategy too. 
How's it going, Chimp? Welcome to the stream. You stream on YouTube and Twitch? Yes. My Twitch is just Ryan Mahalik on Twitch. It's the same um, username. I, I stream on both at the same time. Yo, Super Tiger BTD. Thank you so much for the raid, bro. Appreciate it. Hope your stream went well. Dark Sniper Farm. Okay. So it's Tack Mortar Farm for my opponent. So we both have... It's Dark Mortar Farm versus Tack Mortar Farm, which is pretty interesting. Um... Honestly, I think I'll go for a bank. Kind of feeling a bank play. They're rushing me. Am I dead? Nope, not even close. Not even close. We're good. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Calculated. Calculated chat. Good day, I'm watching you. At what place are you in the game? I'm not sure what my place is. I've dropped a lot of places though. Does bank out farm a BRF? Well, a BRF is gonna be make a lot more money than a bank. A BRF is like more than double the price. So, no. What's the best way to defend this? Do I have to boost this? No, I don't. We're good. Okay. A uh, bank's a little bit more than 6k. A bank, my bank sells for 5.3k, which means it's probably like closer to 8k total. But because it's 70% sell value. Stop my equal at 1500 here. See, Boltrix defended a million bucks of ZMGs. Dude, did he? I didn't see the video. Bet he, bet he could though. Boltrix is pretty cracked. This should defend. I was taking a drink of water, bro. Take a drink of water right when you rush me. How much is in here? 10k? Okay, we want to build it up into an IMF loan to increase the max production. Or increase the max capacity, because this, this will be into a um, Nomics is going to be the plan with it. So we'll build into an IMF loan, and this will be able to be cashed out at 20k. I'd adapt to play the changing meta. Just learn the new meta strategies. Play them. All right. Yeah. When when round twenty four hits, I should theoretically have enough for a uh, nomics. Sell for 12k. Uh, maybe not actually. I'm a little bit off. Okay, we got it up. We got it up. Against this, I probably just change the fade it. Right? First. Isn't Dart just better than Tack right now? Probably. Yep. 
Easy defense. Okay, they're sending me two more. I should go for fan club here. Fortified ZMG. What is the best way to defend this, though? I actually don't know. Um, I don't have my Chains of Fate available, which is a bit of a problem, isn't it? I'm selling, I'm selling. No, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, chat. We're good. We're good. Okay. I almost sold, I almost sold. Why not go for Bloonson at this point? I probably should have just went for a Bloonson against the fortified ZMG. But I didn't. My bad, both mirror. My bad, my bad. DMF is better than what? Banana Depot. I have to go Dart Sniper Farm um, per Cavan's request. So I'd like, oh, Glade's actually a good map for Dart Sniper Farm. So, go oh, Glade. I'm fine with Glade. Glade's a good map for this loadout. I am a man with Mir, bro. Seems like you're against my, your biggest fan, probably. Fighting a fellow clan member, I am. LMS clears anyone with Dart Sniper Farm on Depot. Dart Sniper Farm, new Depot meta. Yes, way, Cavan. Well, the one time you said, wait till I get star to do Bolt Glue Village, and it literally took the entire stream to get star. Yay, Ryan Mahalik is streaming. Sup, dude? How's it going, Pie Shack? How are you doing today? Okay, they're going Sentai Churchill. We don't have anyone streaming or making videos on Bloons 2 2. What do you mean? I stream and make videos on Bloons 2 2. What are you saying, bro? So, normal Churchill is going to be a lot better for us than uh, Sentai Churchill was for them early game. Sentai Churchill struggles a little bit early game. So, And I'll show you why. First off, round three, I think I can get some leaks through their Churchill if I layer a couple blue balloons and then a green balloon and then yells on top because the pierce of the Churchill. Yeah, you see how they have to go for a spoil on their side? Well, on my side, if the opponent did the same thing towards me, I would have been fine against it. But pink balloons, I will need more defense for pink balloons because my Churchill does not have enough damage to get through all the layers of pinks. So we'll prep this on my side. Uh, this should be enough now with the dart monkey. They have farm as well. So there's a chance we have the same loadout, but they also could have like dart spike factory farm or something. And not have um sniper. Sniper's a little bit less popular.
Do a little bit of a layer on them. See if this does anything. It forced a couple leaks on their side and got a, made them get up a sport. I'll take it. Is your middle name Pooper Ryan? Yes, my middle, my middle name is Pooper or Popper. It's Ryan Popper Mahalik. He has SPAC probably. Yeah, I'd imagine. It's SPAC. Which, there's a rush I can send to Dart's back farm, which they, is really hard for them to defend, so. I've got a game plan. Right, hey Ryan, what's good? Just woke up. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Can you attempt getting around into, like you said, you try on the other stream when you play the strat? Uh, I'm not going to round 19 Monkey Wolf here on Glade, I'll tell you that much. Woke up, how's it going everyone? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? Doing good, Amy. Okay, force double spoil on their side, so I'll take that. Just get round 20 instead. I'm not gonna get round 20 with Yoshi either. Yeah, but it's Spike Factory from them. That's fine. We'll take that farm early game. Right, Ryan, what's your credit card information? Yeah, give me a second. I'll um, I'll pull up my credit card for you. Tell you everything you need to know about it. Sniper have a late game advantage? No. But I also have better I have better round 22 all out defense than them. And a little better a little bit better greed early game. Because I can get a lead sniper. Do need force defense on their end though. So we will try to do that. In a second. Can you remove the obstacles on this map? Yes, you can. I don't need to remove them right now because they're not really being much of an obstruction to me currently, but you can remove them. Okay, they use their Churchill ability as well, so. Okay, force double jug. I'll take that. I'll take double jug force. Ryan, he has more defense. How are you being out farmed? I have a lot more eco than them. I have substantially more eco. You sold Jug for bank? Yeah. They have boost available and Sentai 3 available with Mir. So, there isn't really much of a punish. No, I'm literally one eco boost off, bro. What is that? Yeah, we got it. Is that really worth? Yeah, I think so, because I don't need to build up any defense if I have an elite sniper up. I don't need to build up a juggernaut on my side, I don't need to do anything. And the it also anti-stoles, which is good for me in this matchup, because I need to I can't let it go super late game here. Against this loadout. So anti-stole is also worth. You have 1900 effective eco? I do not. Elite snipers were 750 eco. Or are you, are you counting my farm as eco? I guess. Why is, is Ryan not eco? No, because I'm not. I'm not taking it late. Type seven threat detected. 
Okay, force tower boost on their end. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, converting farms to eco, I've always thought was kind of weird. Okay, we got another ability. What does elite targeting do? Um, it targets strong. Unless balloons are like 75% through the map, then it will target the first balloon. But most of the time, first targeting is always just better than elite targeting. I rarely ever use elite targeting. I think it's a scam. Crap, I didn't mean it's in regular BFB, but it's in two regular BFBs instead of one fortified. That's still a good force. Like that. I think they're dead against this one. They use yeah, that smart spikes did nothing. They used it at a bad time. I think they're dead against one ZMG. They're dead. I was gonna send them like three more fortified ZMGs in round twenty-four. The plan with the first one was just slow down their farms and maybe force some abilities, but yeah, I was going to send like three fortified ZMGs in round 24 at them. GG. They defended a surprising amount. That was just church. That was just a Sentai level 10 ability, Petro. Sentai level 10 ability solos all the mob layers. If you get the, if you get the, um, ZMG 50% HP down. You could have you jugged. Yeah. You could have, but then he, they would have just died against the follow-up ZMGs because they used both the billet, Sentai ability and boost. More importantly, Sentai ability. Dart Elk Farm? All right, I'll go Dart Elk Farm. Thank you for the donation, Kavan Venkatesh. W's in the chat. Thank Is you, thank you. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Dart Alk Farm. Has there been an improvement in micro since the micro challenge, Ryan? Um. I don't really think so, Hayes, to be honest. But I might do the micro challenge again at some point. And see if I can beat it. Get like PMFC and Perma Brew. True. Use Ice Pat too with Dart Elk Farm. I don't know about Ice Pat. I'm not going Dart Elk Farm on this map though. I am not going to do that on this map. We'll go Bodox back. We'll do a Bodox back mirror matchup because they're probably going Bodox back as well. Win with a damage buff? I was probably going to go Fate Weaver door with it. To be honest. With Dardock farm. Probably go Fate Weaver. He's in your clan, yes. I know. 
Uh, should I start with the boat over the bait weaver? Maybe. Actually, no. Starting with Fate Weaver is better, because, well, we'll see who leaks more, because the leaks have not, I have not leaked yet. Yeah, we both max ecoed, and I didn't leak at all, and they leaked. So starting with Fate Weaver is better than starting with Boat. Fate Weaver is better. Fate Weaver is stronger than Quincy on round one. I mean, Fate Weaver and Normal Dora have the same strength on round one, so it's not only Fate Weaver, but yes. Normal Dora has the same pierce. And I think the same projectile, pretty much. You think the next when do you think the next speedrun to Hom will be? Um, I don't know. It's if I'm doing a speedrun to Hom though, it's normally at the end of the season. Because at the start of the season, it's a lot harder to speedrun. Than at the end of the season. No, Fate Weaver does not defend group reds in round one. It gets overrun, just kind of slowly. But it does not defend group constant group reds at all. It was getting overrun, but then my boat my boat was enough to stop the overrunning. Yeah, I feel that with Mir. Takes me a couple weeks as well. Difficult out here. All right, got our merchant up. Are they gonna rush me? They are. Yeah, we're good. Ryan. Did you get to play Battles One Flash Koth? Just wondering. No, I was not in the Koth when ba during Battles One Flash days. Run Dart Village Glue in the next Dart game. No, I gotta run Dart Farm Alk in the next Dart game. It's already been requested from Cavan. Dart Farm Alk is the loadout to go. I've got a big eco lead on them, but they might rush me here. It doesn't look like it. They'll let me get the eco lead. Alright. Fine with me, Smiley. Take it. I'll take an eco lead. With a smile on my face. I'll take it. Save up for the um rubbery wood now. Yeah, they got their rubber gold up as well. We'll send yells now. 
Did you know 001 ALK gives a bigger attack speed boost in this game compared to BG6? I did not know that. What's going on with the Bloons cards game? I don't know. But I definitely think I'll try it out when it comes out. Maybe make a video on it. And if I like it, then play more. When does Bloons card game come out? I don't know when it's going to come out. Not sure. I don't know how Rubber Gold has gone this far without a nerf. Yeah, Rubber Gold definitely needs a nerf. It's pretty OP right now. Pretty OP, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Did you see XQC play BT6? I did not see it. But I know a lot of the big streamers have played BT6 before. BT6 is a pretty popular game. Battles 2 a little bit less popular. No, I think its main strength is just that it makes pretty solid money. Because ecoing is the meta. Even if you have farm. And it gets very good bang for its buck. Only thing needed for Elk is a money counter. True, a money counter would go crazy for Elk. Money counter would go crazy. Hmm, Ryan, I'll try to snipe you. Sorry if I do bad. It's all good. Yeah, we'll save it for a second, Robert Gold. I probably should have went for a second rubber to gold before I went for the second merchant, in all honesty. I think it's a better better to get second rubber to gold before it, but it's fine. I right, got second rubber to gold up. for third rubber gold. Okay, since they stopped sending me balloons, I'll put one of them on last. I'll put one of them on first. I'll put one of them on close. So then, they're, they're, since they got synced up, I'll tar switch to targeting a little bit. Make it try to hit less balloons. Or hit different balloons. Send a little bit of Zebra Blue Nico since they only have one rubber to on their side. I'll get a little bit more, more money with that. They get multiple rubber golds and I'll stop sending Zebras. I think rubber to gold makes $2 per pop. I think it's one dollars per pop, but either way, AK Cuber Trap was a lot better than it when Trap made money from sent balloons because Trap, Rubber to Gold does only hits like a very small amount of the balloons, while Trap was hitting a very significant amount. I've never seen all nine boats. You'll probably see Smiley do it here. Even if they hit all nine boats, I still think I'm not going to be at an advantage this game though. They've got a lot more eco and Rubber to Gold income. I can try to do it though, but I don't think I'll be able to get it. Because I didn't really spend much time on my placements. They're spending a lot of time on theirs. I think I'm close, but I'm just not there. We got eight. Why no trade empire? I'm getting the trade empire up. I normally get trade empire around. That's nine. No, I have, I have eight. 
They have nine, probably. Yeah. I still think I'm gonna. I, I still think I'm at a big advantage, though. Even down one boat farm. I've got more eco than them. I've got more rubber to wood income by far. I like her positioning. Trade Empire makes merchantmen do more damage, yeah. You don't need SPAC if you have Trade Empire up. I'm gonna stop my eco pretty soon, maybe when round 27 hits. Alright, there we go. Early, why not place 103 spec where his current spec is instead of replace it normally? Because having the spec here, having spec place spikes all the way in the back is a lot more important from the start than here, since this spike pile will stay alive. It's balloons. Well, the other one won't. Ooh, a new member. Let's go. Enjoy the emotes and badges. Yo, Extremity with the 30-month member message. How's it going, bro? Even 30. Even 30 indeed. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. What's up? Thank you for tuning in. Did I go for a perma spike? Might be a little bit late to do it, but I'll still do it. Why not? I'm dead. No! Oh, I sold. I sold so hard. Going for the perma spike was just dumb. Going for the perma spike was just dumb there. I don't know why I did perma spike. I would have had a lot more money to just be use my level 20 ability earlier and then deal with the ZMGs earlier and all that stuff. If I didn't do the perma spike and I wouldn't have to have to sell my super mine so early. Ah. Uh. That's annoying. The nine boats reign supreme? No. I had him outplayed the entire game. I just defended poorly at the end. The perma spike was just the, the selling point. Would total transformation do good there? No, total transformation does nothing. Total transformation does nothing. The problem was I got my Chains of Fate way too late. I needed to buy my Chains of Fate like immediately there. 
and target it higher up. Since I got it late, a lot of the ZMGs hit my spike pile because they got past the Chains of Fate. And the reason I got it late was the fact that I, um... The reason I got it late was because I went for a perma spike for no reason. I just stole the defense is all. Are you sure you're ready? I can even see it with my eyes closed. Dart from Alk, yeah. I, this is a requested loadout from Cavan. So I gotta go Dart from Alk. Requested loadout. Where do I place my Adora? Maybe there? Bro hits me with the what's up guys. It's on first. First. Yeah, we're good. Spike pull. Dart sub farm used to be meta here. Yeah, it was meta for a little bit on this map. When Jericho first came out, people used to run dart sub farm all the time on this map. Does Sport solo this or do I need to cross path it? See, let's cross path it once. All right, we'll get the farm down. And we'll buy very quick shots. Yeah, we're good. They balloon boosted at me, but I think I'm good against that. Why no stream on Tuesday? I didn't feel like streaming, really. And now Dark got a nerf. No, Dark didn't get a nerf. Dark's pretty strong right now. Wait, my Dart is hitting the obstacle. What? Hello, Dart. Okay, now the, the crossbow is doing its job, it looks like. You should switch hand of dart, then it would fix. True. Let me switch the hand of the dart real quick. Let me switch its hand. I feel like my round 13 defense with this loadout's gonna be very bad. On this map. Relying on juggernauts to defend on this map is gonna be kind of not good. Or stop my eco right there. Alk buff sharpshooter? I don't think Alk buff sharpshooter is very good either. I could try it. But I'm pretty sure Alk buff sharpshooter is not super good. Yo, how's it going, Tide Gaming? Welcome to the stream. They got their Alk buffed ace.
I don't think Alk Buff helps the Sharpshooter much, because the Sharpshooter has high damage to begin with. So the damage, it's the Pierce, I guess, that's helpful. But... These might not be the best placements. Maybe I should have placed it farther on the right. But I don't know. Round 11 market? Yeah, I went for the market because... um. It's likely I'll have to sell my farm on this map, especially with my loadout, so... If I'm gonna have to sell the farm, it's better to have a marketplace. Uh-oh. We're good. Oh, I saw leaks. I guess nothing happened. That's nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble now. I'm in very big trouble. I thought that'd get through. This is not good. Definitely not the loadout for this map. Okay, we're good against that rush. Fine. What's the kill condition here? Uh, don't really have much of a plan, I'll be honest. They've got the meta loadout, I have a pretty bad loadout for the map, but... Let's see what we can do. Okay, force boost. Alright, they're dead. We got it. We got it. No, ceramics are much better than Rerod. Underneath the Moab, ceramics are a lot better. Dart Ox Farm, new meta, loadout. Feature bottom path sniper art. Right, I got you, David. Thank you so much for the donation. W's in the chat from a man, David. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Everybody like his donation. Does layering hurt dart on ports or are there workarounds? Well, layering would hurt me at the start with how I was defending, but. The sharpshooter was pretty close to the start of the map, so when I had the sharpshooter out buffed, layering wouldn't have done that much against the sharpshooter. What about fortified leads under the mob? Fortified leads under the mob might have worked, but they had um acidic mixture dip um on their ace, so the ace a lot of the time would pop the leads. Bro, that's two times in a row. That's two games in a row. Okay. Oh, we're against the same person again. Yo, James Mercier with the donation. Thank you so much, James. W's in the chat. Lots of donations right now, guys. I appreciate it a lot. Feature bottom path sniper. What sniper loadout do I want to go? Skip Cobra. Castle. Let's go. Gwendolyn? Sniper. Village. Super. He wants me to showcase bottom path sniper. I'll showcase it. All right. My only. It's going to be like my only defense early game. Uh, I don't know. Just never was a fan of it, Blue. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. 
feature bottom path sniper. Is that a super chat I smell? Yeah, I can fit a sniper there. Then my Gwendolyn right here. Hi, Orion. How's it going, Legend of the Light? How you doing today? Okay, let's keep us on close. Last targeting actually does not work, which is bad for me. Um, when you get trapped, no shot off the rip here. Okay, trap no shot has been bought. What about dart sniper ice? Could a dart sniper ice probably would work. I could see that working. Well, Sniper early is pretty bad, but also this map is just not good for it as well. Especially with where I have to place my Gwendolyn. This is just not the map for it, really. Yo, Amy, thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate that a lot. That'll be using the chat for Amy. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing today? It is indeed a dono strap. Okay. They're leaking a lot with their druid. Let's balloon boost. Are they dead? Cocktail? Oh, they're alive. Yeah, I definitely need 0 2 3. And I'm not even sure if this will defend, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure if 0 2 3 will defend. I need to, like, not chase. And it's chasing. Okay, stop chasing. Okay, I think I'm good now. I'm doing good, thank you. I hope you're doing good as well. I am doing good as well. Okay, it seems like it's working. Seems like it's working now. I think you need to pay the 40 to, to upgrade it around early. Yeah, I could have done that. You're right. You're right. You're right. How much does full auto rifle cost? 3,800? Okay, so that's, it's not that expensive for full auto. It's not that expensive. Oh, keep it going. Get our farmer down. Get our balloon butt down. Your Ryan actually knows the meta of pierce buffing sniper. True. The extra pierce on sniper does help me out a little bit with the shrapnel. Which I guess the shrapnel is not even being used well. With the problem is shrapnel on this map is not being used well. A lot of time it's just flying out. It's not like being maximized. This isn't the best map for it. But we're trying to make it work. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. The eco isn't bad, no. They have Druid, so I mean they're stolen the rounds on their side quite a bit, so. My eco's not terrible here. I guess their Fate Weaver's kind of anti stalling, huh? Should be able to forward this. The nice part about this, though, comparatively like to building a dartlings into the hydrocopods, is I don't take any cell loss with this. So I just build the sniper straight into full auto. Well, a dartling into hydrocopods, there's a lot of cell losses you take, which hurts you in the long run. But in this case, no cell loss. Uh, small rush. Honestly, Fire. 
We're good. Are you re-rushing me? No, they went for bank. I okay, went for supply drop on my side. We're fine. Max anti stole eco strike going hard. I mean, it's sniper. That's the problem with sniper. It anti stoles. I guess I could have gone sniper farm, but I don't think I had a good, good, get good, very, very good farm. So starting with this amount of rifle, so felt like I had to go eco because there's no early game greed. Now, ideally, I don't use my last boost in an ideal scenario. I am down to one boost, which is kind of bad for us, obviously. Yeah. They send me a Moab class. The eco is rough. My eco is not even bad. What? 1500 eco with a sniper farm on round 17 is not bad. Especially for castle runes. Dart farm sniper with snipers around 11 defense. Yeah, I could have done that and started with the dart. You're right. But I wanted to showcase the bottom path sniper as starting. I want to try to start with start with the bottom path sniper this game. Yeah, the next crate go around. I'll try to have it um, into a lead sniper for the next crate go around. So this will sell for 2400. So I need 1150 basically. Wait a little bit to upgrade this, just so the round gets stalled a little bit more. There we go. Let's send him some zebra blue Nico with the um, AI Moab. Okay, they're sending me that. Let's go for Super Monkey. This should be on first. Back. I think just we just firestorm this with my current defense. That should solo. I don't think I need an I don't think I need a dark knight. Um Firestorm? Cocktail. Easy defense. Well, a sniper is always top path. You always want top path on your lead sniper. It's just a lot more effective defensively. Top path lead sniper. Are they all outing me or are they going for nom? Oh, they're going for nom, Mexico. Okay. To be honest, I don't know if this defends late. I don't know either. There's only one way to find out.
I think Sun Avatars and Cripple defend. Yeah, Sun Avatars and Cripple will defend a little bit, but the problem is Cripple only affects a couple BADs of the rush. It doesn't affect the entire rush. Unlike unlike a Super Brittle or a Glue Storm, which normally affects a lot more. Cripple only affects a couple. So it's there's a big difference in uh, effectiveness. Yeah, cripples plus five, but it only affects. It doesn't affect much late game. Can I request a round twenty-six fortified BFB? Yes, you can. But he's just gonna change the fate this probably with Mir. But then I can send them ceramics round twenty-eight, which might not be a bad idea. So that'll be the plan. Oh, why am I still ecoing? It's round twenty-seven. Stop ecoing. They're dead against AI. No, they get okay. They get banana central up on their end. It's fine. They tower boost. I don't think their current defense holds on tower boost. They need to change the fate this for sure. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's what I wanted to force. Wait, one more, one more of these. Perfect. I don't have camo detection on any of these, do I? Hmm. Sell that and get this up to a camo villain. It might be. This should defend pretty well. It's only one BAD, so my sun avatars have really good damage right now. It's only one. Keeps on, uh, keep on strong, keep on strong. Strong, strong. Get a couple of these on first. I'll collect these. I'll upgrade this to level 17. Boost. Okay, we're defending. This is actually working out really well. Collect these. Sell these off. I think that's GG, ladies and gentlemen. Firestorm. I don't need homeland, nah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Bottom path sniper, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Bottom path sniper. Won 100 games with sniper monkey. Accolade earned. El Bozo?
90% sure this is eSport. Let's go. Ocean opening. They're going ocean opening as well. Ninja Alchemist Sniper. Monkey. I don't think he's going DNA with Ocean Open. I think Ocean Open goes here, if I remember correctly. This is where I like to place it. Okay, they most likely have Heli, because they don't care about leaks. Which Heli is the more popular loadout, so. That's what I expect. Heli sucks. Oh, does it now with Mir? Farm and Sniper both beat Heli. I don't know about that, but... I think Sniper can. I don't know about Farm. Depending on the map. I see there's no Dart. Nice. I didn't lose last match, so... How's it going, Joel the Parrot, by the way? Welcome to the stream. The meta has changed, he says. Chilling right now? Nice, nice. <laughs> Jewel's paired sniper super village is OP. I don't know if it's OP or not. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's a bad loadout, but I wouldn't know if it's no. I don't know if I'd say it's OP. Yo, I'm new to the game. Who is the best hero? Uh probably overall Fate Weaver Adora, but there's some other heroes that can contend. In certain cases. Hi Ryan, yo, how's it going? Star Captain Jericho and Asian Jericho both both very good as well, yeah. Oh no, my targeting's getting messed up because of the top alchemist a little bit. I wanted to throw in the intersection on first. It's fine. Is it better go for double shot? It actually probably is. Then go for um second elk. I think double shot's the better play. Hmm. Yeah, because I've got ocean open, so I got the pierce buff. Oh well.
Well, then I'm in a bad spot. I did not want mean to boost that. At least we forced their Bloonjutsu out. I'll take that. It's fine, though. If I save my last boost, I'm fine. As long as I save my last boost. We forced their Jitsu, too, so... We do have a little bit more greed than them, but... That wasn't pl played very well for me. Use Camel Lead. Camel Lead doesn't do anything, because they have Acidic Mixture Dip on um, their... Ninja. Camo led eco 200 IQ. True. What actually is 200 IQ is my opponent waiting to buy their rubber to gold so they get less money from it. Lives don't matter around 40 isn't real. True. They should add an orange balloon. An orange balloon? Apparently that dies. Okay. I don't know how that died. I had a shinobi buff. I guess the elk buff probably was on its downtime. Probably just got unlucky with the downtime of the elk buff. What happened? Bro, there's like nothing there, yeah. That's just what happens sometimes. That's how the game be. You get unlucky. You move on to the next. Right Giraffe 64. From Adora's Defenders Clan. You can always review the battle's TV footage or test in sandbox mode. That's not in this game. Oh wait, I was supposed to go dart. Oh well. Forgot. I forgore. Forgot, Shivam. I'm sorry, bro. My bad. I forgot, bro. It's an accident. Hey, we got the life advantage. I thought dart isn't bad. No, dart's not bad. Dart's not bad right now. Dart's a pretty good tower. Dart's honestly probably one of the best towers right now. Heli. Oh, how did I leak there? What? We have sniper anyways, so I'll have money to rush them, but I don't know how that even leaked. I leaked one life, bro.
Go with a super monkey. We're cooking chat. What's up, Ryan? How's it going, Daryl? How you doing today? Leaking there was pretty unfortunate, though. Because I would have liked to take it late. Ultra late, but I can't now. Yeah, they used the cocktail. They used the cocktail around 6, though. So I don't know if they'll have it around 7. When they need it. an alchemist on their end. Okay. Okay. Send them some yellows. They'll probably be good though. They got the large potions and, and um, stronger acid on their alchemist. You have a personal idea of what an orange balloon could do to make the game more interesting? An orange balloon. I don't know what an orange balloon would do. It's an interesting question. It's a very interesting question. It's in a purple balloon. Purple balloons should be pretty strong against them because they're... Uh, Gwendolyn does nothing. Yeah, we forced tower boost. And second heli. Some outer rifle. Their heli targeting is so bad, yeah. Their heli targeting is definitely not it. Orange could be between yellow and pinks, maybe? So 4.5 layers? <laughs> A 4.5 layer balloon. I don't even have monkey commerce on that. Oops. Yeah, we're good. Keep us on last, probably. Well, let's use a cocktail and keep it on last. I'd like to anti stole prob probably here. I think is best to limit their money for late game. They also don't have a rubber to gold in their end, so my phone's not playing it very well. They do not have a rubber to gold. Round 17. They can make a fire resistant balloon, I guess. Isn't purple already fire resistant, kind of? Um, camo lead shouldn't do anything. Yeah, we're good. Round 18, let's get Bouncing Bolt up. Okay. Yeah, we're anti-stall these rounds well. This is good. At 
this is very, very good for us. Send them a region camel rush. They'll probably just boost against it if I send that. And region camels are so expensive. If I send them one region camel purple rainbow, it's eight hundred dollars instead of two hundred fifty dollars. Very expensive rush. I don't think it'd be worth. Orange balloons should taste like multiple pierce, he said. It'll take like three to four layers. So not extremely hard to defend, I see. Interesting. I see, I see. How much does it sell for? Four, nine, five thousand, so I need nine thousand, give or take. I don't even need to, um... Get my elite sniper up, I guess. They, uh, died against the AI mob. GG. Taco. From Krem's Dog Pound. Taco, taco, taco. Dino Graveyard again, bro? What is this? Start this match? What? I didn't lose the last match, though. And I already selected Ocean Open. I won the last match. Show them the true fury of the forest. Oh, but I didn't do it the match before. I see what you're saying. I see. I am Gorin. I don't remember you entirely. Go put our ocean open right here. What? There we go. Pro ninja spot, guys. Pro ninja spot. You don't want to hit anything before you upgrade it. And then you have the good ninja spot. What about lose the game equals use glue? Use glue. It wasn't a loss, it was a learning experience. True. True that. The bunny ears opens fire. It is actually fire. W bunny ears open from the opponent. Seeking shuriken. Upgrade my. Let's use my living coral. Sharp shurikens. Not exactly pro. Everyone knows a 100 upgrades range, Ryan Smart Alec. Okay. Whatever, whatever. It is pro, dude. It is pro. You just got it. You just don't fa fail to admit it. You just fail to admit it. This should be enough defense to handle um, for a while. Lose the game equals use spike factory.
Even if I win this game, I'll use dart next game. How about that? Since I hit, broke the rules that one time. How about that, chat? I decided not to go to Hom this year. I'm not feeling the grind. Feel that. You're not feeling the grind. You're not in the grind set, in the mindset. It's them yellows. They get their lightning up. Spike Factory would be a cool stream. True. Okay, we, ac we actually did lose all of our spikes. All of our ocean opening. Let's get double shot up. Turn on living coral again. Brian said, I like that. Yes, sir. Send them some space zebras. Now we'll go back to white balloons. this um that's not good I definitely over eat code I'm supposed to be able to forward my Alk buff, my Blunjutsu, and an Alchemist on round 11. I over echoed it. What are you saying, Taco? Why are you talking in my stream after you beat me. I'm just trying to play and enjoy the game. I don't understand. Being rude. Yeah, we'll go dart. Two dart games. Let's go Spike Factory. Let's move out. I've made a lot of special modification. I could have done that, Daryl, but normally it's not good to buy Caltrops because then my round eleven defense is even more expensive. Because I still need the Blue Jitsu and the Alk buff and the other Alchemist. I don't think that's a very good idea to buy Caltrops there. Hi bro, how's it going? Anna Nos 80, how are you doing today? Nice. They're on boat, so it's probably Bulldog Spike Factory for my opponent, I guess is. 
I honestly don't think Bulldog Spike Factory is super good on this map. I'll show you why, but I haven't. I've, I've avoided using it on this map for a while. Hey, yeah, how's it going? Doing pretty good. How you doing, Vidora? Blue Blue Nico. I'm not gonna send Blue Blue Nico. I'll farm load up. With farm, it's not good to send group blues. Oh, let's move my camera. They use their Churchill ability, so I'm gonna balloon boost when the Churchill ability is over. They have force tower boost on their end. I'll take that. And they got grape shot up. Nicely done. Mega rare footage of Ryan leaking balloons. What do you mean rare? I leak balloons all the time, bro. It's not that rare. another farm here. Bro did not understand the sarcasm, true. They are getting I fit another farm. One right there. Yeah, Force Tower Boost and Churchill 3. What I wanted. All right. GG. Nice work, soldier. That's why Bodox Spike Factory is not very good on that map. That was the biggest round 13 rollout ever. I could have I could have sent like 4,000 more. Because I didn't even sell my Spike Factory on my side. Or my Spool. I had another 4,000 to send. I find bigger is quite often better. 
Tigers equals cheater. Interesting name. Fire Cove equals worst map. Yeah, it's not a very good map. Stackmore Farm is like the only shot you can play on this map, yeah. True. Good game. Why'd you say good game? Yo, David Yeager with the $20 donation. He says biker slash striker base strategy. All right, I got you, bro. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. W's in the chat from man David Yeager. Thank you, thank you. Let's target this on strong when they start their lair. Go on first. Blade shooter. I shouldn't leak that much there. W donation indeed. What is CA? Canadian. Canadian. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Biker slash striker based strat. Saying that W made me lose my game. Never ask me to W again. Okay. Everyone say W but to all the parrot in the chat for the donation. That's the money I have. I appreciate it a lot, David Yeager. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. Okay, we got a boost out of them. I'll take that. Clear the palm tree? No, there's no point to right now. I'll clear it later, but right now, my attack shooter isn't getting obstructed by it, so I'd rather just save the money. Rather just save the money, brother. Later, though, uh, when I want to place more tax shooters, I'll um, clear it. Nice. We forced mortar upgrades out on them. I'll take that. Save it for my signal flare now. I used to love Ninja Elk, but this has spoiled it. The season has. You are now a Ninja Elk hater. Feel that. Okay, 
Okay, we forced boost on their end. I'll take that. I think we're in a pretty good spot now. After that encounter. I'm dead. What is my mortar hitting, bro? I boosted and my mortar's just letting balloons through. I don't understand. What is that? I literally boost and use a Dora 3. And my mortar's just missing all the balloons. I don't understand. That's so dumb, dude. I don't even need to, shouldn't even need to use a door of three against that rush if I boost. I used both. I used both, chat. That's crazy. It's dark time, it is indeed dark time. Maybe Dart Biker Bones or Striker Jones. Yeah, I could do that. Arrow at some point. We have to do David's challenge of a striker based loadout. So we'll go Mortar, Dart Mortar. Go village, I could go sniper. Go something else. Hmm. Let's go sniper. No problem, John. Welcome to the stream. Heli. I think sniper is gonna be better than Heli here, because the cripple helps out your Plasma Monkey fan club a bit a bunch for late game. Strong with the druid, so it's gonna be druid sub farm for my opponent, I'd imagine. It's their loadout. I'll start with a trip dart. Placing it all the way in the back, so I stole the rounds. Oasis doesn't have that many heli spots at all as well. It does not have very many heli spots. Doesn't Sniper outplay Heli and Jock on this map too? I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay, they got their farm down. Fair enough. Where do I put my crossbow on this map? Maybe right here? Where do I put my crossbow? On last. I could put it like up here on last, but then it anti-stole. I don't really want to anti-stole. So I think the stole spot is going to be a little bit farther back. It's going to be better. We did leak, but that's fine. They, don't, they have druids of farm. Leaking is not very good. Up by the tree's exit. On first. Right here. Could do that. Someone said no. On last, right? I'll try it, I'll try it. Last, no, last is awful there. Don't do last there, don't do last there. 
Close, keeps on first. Sell that dart. So it bounces through the trees. The crossbow can't bounce through the trees. And also last makes it target here. No, a spolt, Ryan? Oh, that's what you wanted to spolt. Let's see. Well, I didn't get a spolt, did I? How does the triple dart versus crossbow compare? Uh, crossbow is a little bit more expensive, but crossbow also does more damage. Um, cro crossbow is really good versus white balloons and black balloons because it does multiple layers of damage, so it pairs quite nicely. It'll pop them down to greens, and then the other stuff can deal with it. Let's get a mortar upgraded. Wait, uh oh. I upgraded middle path instead of. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're good, we're good. No! Oh my gosh. It last second regrow farmed on me, dude. I thought I was good, but then I just saw a bunch of things regrow all of a sudden. I got the last second regrow farmed on. Dang, that's unfortunate. I want to practice some dart strategies. Do you have any recommendations, Ryan? How about Dark Glue Farm? The best dart strategy right now, by far, Joe, is Dart Mortar Farm with um, Star Captain Jericho or um, Fate Weaver Adora. So that would be my um, suggestion. I haven't really gone at much this stream just because I'm not really tryharding. I'm going wacky strategies a lot, but that's the best dart strategy by far. It's very good on a lot of maps. Yeah, I did two Vidora. Again, I've just been getting unlucky a lot of these games. There's a last second regrow. And I assume I probably got Striker RNG'd where the Shell Shock didn't pop the zebras, so it regrowed. Is that a probably what happened? I smell? Thank you. I want to practice some dart strategies. Do you have any recommendations? You have eight bad spam for laking bads. Um, with dart mortar farm, a lot of the time it's a more aggressive loadout, so you shouldn't have to be sending just defending multiple bads late game. But against a bad or two, you're gonna go for a plasma monkey fan club in blue incineration. And then you can get um pop and awe as well when it pops in the insides. Salt columns. Uh, what is a 
dart strategy you can run on this map. I guess I can try dart mortar farm on this map. I've never ran it before. So I don't really know how to do it, but we'll try it. This guy's sniping? Probably, but it's hard to know. Yeah, Basalt Columns isn't very good for Dart, unfortunately. Go oh, camera here. Save it for something like Oasis or Sands of Time. I think the best map for it is probably Cobra Command or um, Off Tide. On this, on the super long easy maps, the strategy is not great because Ninja Elk can defense very well. You want like a little bit of tiny bit more difficult maps to load out. I also probably should place my Fate Weaver right here. Well, maybe not. I don't know. No max anti stall. I don't know. I don't know where I would have placed my darts for max anti stall. I'd rather just place it in defensive location. Plus, I probably outlast most loadouts on this map with my loadout. Most people go Dartling Alchemist Bolt or Dartling Alchemist Farm, which I outlast both loadouts with that, this loadout. So I don't really need to anti stall. They won't farm. It's fine. That we're good. Getting layered on would be bad as well. I mean, he layered on me quite a bit. I didn't leak that much. I think I defended layering decently. We're good. Brian, I'm gonna head out. Have a great stream. You'll see you, Daryl. Thank you for stopping by, bro. Another farm down. We got them out farm pretty hard. I mean, Dart's very cheap early the game comparatively to Dartling, so you have a nice out farm. But yellow balloons will be danger to me if they send them. Maybe go for a mortar. Doesn't look like they're farming. Look how farm. I'll farm on. My crossbow's on strong, by the way, which I think is the good, the correct targeting here. Because then, if AI balloons pass through it, it won't chase the AI balloons. It'll just continue shooting in the line. The strong targeting is working out pretty well for me here. First would kind of mess up a little bit in this case. Churchill, I, you might think so, but Churchill's actually not that great on this map from my experience. It gets, it's targeting gets messed up a lot from the AI path, so I wouldn't recommend Churchill on this map, personally. I would not recommend it.
boost. Yeah, we're fine. GG. Good try. Better luck next time. <clears throat> Dark Mortar Farm is actually better than I thought it would be on that map, to be honest. It worked out pretty well. And I'm not even sure if I had the best placements of stuff. I kind of just hooked with the placements as we went. Will Jug defend that last rush, the one you defended? A Juggernaut and my um, three mortars probably would have worked as well, Jono. You're right. I probably could have done a Juggernaut with the three mortars I had. I think that would have worked out fine. Okay, this is not a good map for Dart Mortar Farm. The darts get blocked a lot by the obstacles on this map. This is a map where it's Tack Mortar Farm, for sure. They're starting with their Gwendolyn, that's fine. Why well, skip Sands of Time? I didn't really feel like playing Sands of Time. They didn't really feel like going Ninja Elk. Yo, what's up, Pat? How's it going, bro? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, Pat? My man, Pat. Welcome, welcome. Sub? Sub Gwyn is interesting here. Anyone have guesses for what their loadout is? Submarine Gwendolyn. I'm good. Nice, I'm glad to hear it. Super. I think it's a super loadout. Could be. Who remembers IMF meta? I do. Could be sub super farm. Definitely a possibility. I'd say Druid. I don't think it's Druid, because they would probably would have started with the Druid if they had Druid in their loadout. I don't think it's Druid here. I don't think their sub spot's very good though. Look at the angle it's shooting at. It's shooting up into the right a ton where it's getting blocked by the obstacle. I think with the sub, I'm gonna place it higher up so it shoots more horizontal. Their spot is shooting diagonal a ton. So I think if he had a better sub spot, he wouldn't be leaking with the two subs he has right now. I don't think that's a very good sub spot from them. IMF alone chaining was so broken it ruined the game for a good two to three weeks until NK patched it. True. It was very broken. Yeah. 
Send them purples. Purples might do some damage. Because their Gwendolyn doesn't pop them. Uh, but they weren't chasing at all when I sent them, so... Probably take a while if they do damage to actually start overwhelming. So they use Cocktail. It's fine. Ryan, what? What is the time at your place? Uh, 4.21 p.m. They have no farms. I'll take that. And I'm pretty sure I'm up on eco as well. He has no boost around 13 now, or around 11, yeah. That's why I re rushed them around 11 and they had the solar farm, because they had no boost. How do you think the game would be impacted if you saw your opponent's money? Uh, I think it'd be impacted a lot more for lower level players. I think at that super high level, you always have a decent idea of how much money your opponent has. So I don't know if it changed that much for High level play. Would make low level play easier? I think there'd be more rushes sent probably low level play if you knew how much money they had. Because then you know if they can afford defense or not and all that stuff. Boost this. Tower boost. I don't think tower boost is enough. They're gonna die against insides. They firestorm as well. Okay, they're good with firestorm too. It's druid. Ooh, oh, someone said druid earlier. Someone said druid earlier. They actually got life buff off that, surprisingly. Force boost. It's 
Oh, they're dead. They had zero boosts, by the way, chat. So my plan was just IMF alone and send them an all-out rush. And they wouldn't have defended, but... They died against the one BFB anyways. But yeah, they had zero boosts there. They used them all. They boosted round 9, and then they boosted against a Fortify mob, and then they boosted against that BFB. Druid Elk sub slash village, but no 203 Druid? Okay. Interesting suggestion. Thank you for the donation, Kevin. I appreciate it a lot. Druid Elk sub or village? No 203 Druid. W Kevin in the chat. I can see the chat. How's it going? Mr. Plays official. Use the 2023 Druid. GG. GG. Easy. I actually kind of hope I get a hard map, because if I get a really easy map, then I'm probably just going to face Ninja Elk and get out late gamed. If I get like Core or something, I think I'll have a better chance with that loadout with Druid Elk sub. But it can't be like a map where Druid just doesn't work at all. Core is pretty good for Druid though. You would have homeland it doesn't matter ninja elk will still outlast because after you pass round 40 with the druid eco loadout you lose all of your druid buffs and then you're just gonna die to rushes plus even with the druid buffs you'd probably still get outlasted by ninja elk is your last name actually mahalik it is it is indeed Elias. That's why you go with Zeely. I see. I see, says the blind man. Well, if I go with Zeely then, Kevin, you want me to go with Zeely and not use Lightning Path? Because then my early game is going to be awful going uh, Middle Path, Druid of Wrath. Because I don't have Pierce on it. I don't have an Oban Pierce buff or a Gwendolyn Pierce buff. So, you, like, you can't do both. You're not going to start with the Lightning Druid. You're going to start with Middle Path Druid of Wrath, then you can't really go with Zeely. Buy Totem, round 9. Is okay. that a super shot I smell? Thank you. Druid Alk sub slash village, but no 200 Buy Druid. Totem, round 9, he says. Joel the Parrot. Is Joel actually a parrot? I don't know if it'll work on this map, but we'll try. Right, I'm hard stuck BFP Coliseum. Any advice? Win some games, brother. Win some games. Go get out of BFP. You gotta win some matches, dude. Sub boats back, you think? I think that's his loadout. He is cooking. Look at the look at the pat. pat Joel is cooking. I'll give him that. Iron, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Peter. How you doing today, brother? Thank you for stopping by the stream. Okay. So it's going to be really weird because I can't get top path hard thorns. It was per Jules, uh, per Kevin's request. So to start, I'm going to go for Heart of Vengeance round one and I'll be going Thorn Swarm. I mean, this is how they did back in the day. Back in the day, people never went for Lightning Druid of Wrath when the Druid was first popular. It was always middle path. You do you would used to do a two Druid start. And then balance changes happen, times have changed. Wait, did the round get anti stalled? Or was I just that poor? I thought I'd be able to get my Oban down. Maybe I over ecoed. I think I might have just over ecoed. I did not get Oban round one, which is actually really bad. 
because it's gonna be a while to get that nature's wrath, which is necess which is a necessity for me. Yeah. Put this on last so I get these leaks in. Is Druid Elk Ninja Elk a good or bad strat? I'd say it's a usable strat. I'd say it's between good or bad. I wouldn't say it's good, I wouldn't say it's bad. I'd say it's between. I should get Druid of Wrath up early, because I don't have the pierce from my Oban yet. I think this is a necessity. Since I messed up my round one Oban, I should get this guy up early. Also, I'm not sending blue balloons for some reason. Oops. Let's lock it. Let's lock in. Let's lock in, Ryan. They might have gone Pat for easy BFP all out defense. Zero four one Alks go crazy with Pat three. True. I'm waiting. True that. Oh, I didn't mean to bloom about that. I'm waiting. Let's target my living coral. Uh, not living coral. Brambles in the back. Yeah. Come on, Oban. Okay, we're good. Um, are we good though? This is not. Looking too hot. Okay, we got second druid down. For a little bit of defensive support, because my wrath is struggling. We're alive, we're alive. We're fine, chat, we're fine. I just need to get some brambles on the field here. We got brambles down. Feel a little more comfortable now. Rogo's sub boat. Yeah, sub boat's a little a little odd here, I'll be honest. A little bit odd. Is that the other druid to last, Ryan? Oh. That actually works out pretty well. Good comms, good comms. David, I'm like to hear. I first placed it down to pick up leaks because our druid was chasing, but now we're not really chasing, so last is probably a good targeting on it. Go for our Alk buff right here for my Wrath. I'm close. Third is definitely a spike. Yep, you called it. Boat sub spike. It's off brand boat elk spike factory. Their strategy is like boat elk spike factory guys, but worse. It's pretty much what their strategy is. Boat elk spike factory, but worse. That's that's the selling point of it. Um, I find I know there's a big weakness to my defense. Okay, um, if he sends me some sort of camo rush, I don't know if I'll be able to decamo in time for my druid to pop the balloons afterwards. Well, that makes sense. Oh, I need to get a reactor here, I think. Play it safe. I think I need a reactor and the alk buff druid, which is a little bit expensive, but just... Well, if they don't rush me, I can probably just chill, actually, if they don't rush me. And just get my rubber to gold up. If they did rush me. Nope. Oh, well, look at that. Never mind. Our druid is throwing. We almost died with an Alkbuff druid to, um, white balloons. Um, Oban, please pop that. And that's why you don't go middle path druid, guys. That's why you don't go middle path druid. Oh, yeah. You definitely need two zero three druid. I think that's what we learned. Cavin 
made the challenge too difficult. Two zero, if I had 203 Druid, I would have been alive without a reactor. But since I had Middle Path, I had to get a reactor and I still died. That's kind of crazy. So unlucky, somehow every Alk shot missed. There was an AMD at the Druid when the Leds came and Oban missed as well. Yeah. This has been an unlucky stream. But still was a fun stream. Um, Had some good dark games in there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, probably gonna end it here though. Thank you everyone for tuning in. And uh, peace out guys. Have a good one.